sometimes you are constrained by fear. And some, I, I always try to make fear my friend because I know fear is coming. So like, hey, hi, hi, fear, how are you doing? You know, I get familiar with it. You know, therefore, you know, you, you just bring it on. Come on, hi, fear, how are you? You have to give over often to your first instincts. You try to stop yourself. You try to sort of manage it. No, that's, that can't be right. That doesn't sound, that sound, that doesn't sort of uh, sound correct. But sometimes the things which aren't, aren't correct are actually right. They're spot on, they're so accurate. But because they, they, they come at you in, in such a sort of uh, surprising way, you tend to sort of uh, try not to acknowledge it. And so I learned on Widows, sometimes I would do like 10 or 12 cuts, uh, takes rather. And it was always the first idea I had in my mind. I was like, okay, we'll just go back to that and boom, one take, and that was it. My husband left me the plans for his next job. All I need is a crew to pull it off. Why should we trust you anyway? Because I'm the only one standing between you and a bullet in your head. We had a great set, we had a great crew. Everyone on that set was, it was their movie, it was our movie. I had a hundred people marching with me. It was just extreme enjoyment every day. The first set I ever came on, the film set I came on, was my own. I never went on a film set before, and that was deliberate, because I didn't want to learn other people's habits. I wanted to come on set and find it myself, so I never actually, I never, my, only, my first step on a movie set was my own, was Hunger. The first film that shook me to the core was Zero de Con Huit by Jean Vigo. He only made, I think, two films in his whole life, and, and one short. And that film had a huge impression on me because in some ways, yes, it reflected my childhood in a way. It was about an old boys boarding school. That institution and how it tried to shape these kids and how they broke free of the shackles of the institution. And somehow it sort of had a sort of resonance in me because it sort of reflected in some ways my school experience and how people tried to dial or set my compass. And it had a huge impact on me. It's, it's kind of surreal, it's kind of beautiful. It sort of transforms and transcends itself. This industry is so influential in changing people's opinions and minds. That we have a duty to do that. Um, you know, we are the arts. And often we're the leader in changing people's minds and perceptions. So we have a huge obligation. And it's just not the case that because other people do it, you know, it's difficult for us. We can do it. We can change people's minds and uh, understanding of, of our everyday and uh, what we see.